excited about this package because um, this gal, her name is Brittany, she sent me some soap samples once and I fell in love with them so I asked her to please send me more of her products so I could share them with you all in case you wanted to buy them. She's not paying me. I just want to see if I can give back to the people who are giving so much to me. So this is what she says. Thank you so much for allowing me to send you this gift. I hope you enjoy all the scents I picked out. Everything was handmade by me except the wooden box. The pouch is a cotton pouch to put a bar of soap in. Thank you for making such soothing videos. They always put me at ease. Brittany. And that not precious, that is precious. Thank you so much, Brittany. I would just be so happy to share your wonderful handmade product with everybody. And I'm just going to see if I can make a pretty scene here. It'll be like a nest. <laughs> Alright, here is one thing she sent me. It is says intensive moisturizing sandalwood mask. Whipped body butter with shea and cocoa butter. Brittany makes this herself. Okay, can I get it open? Oh, good. That sounds... That sounds... <laughs> oh, wow. It says that it's free of toxic ingredients. So the only ingredients... Oh my gosh. That smell. The only ingredient is shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, safflower oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, phthalate, phthalate free fragrance oil. So it's fragrance oil that's phthalate free. Op optifen. I don't know what optifen is, but I can tell you already that I trust this to be all natural. We have more grass. <laughs> okay. Such sweet, delicate tissue paper that she put around this. That's so nice. I like that. Thank you, Brittany, for wrapping it so nicely. Say, if you made this, did you make it, Brittany? So you put a bar of soap in this lovely little... Okay, let's listen. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my. Okay, let's get to the soaps. Well, I found some more.
just fill in my little circle here <laughs> with the wonderful brown raffia. It just fills in my flower arrangement so perfectly. Not <laughs> cute. Love that. So springtimey. Let's put the card back. box in the letter. Oh, I see we got one loose bar here. I'll look at that in a second. Gently open this bag. Definitely like to keep the sounds consistent, but not too obnoxious. And I love crinkly paper bags. That was a good idea. Yeah, that was nice. Nice touch to put that around here. Look at this. Whoa. Is that not just gorgeous? Wow. Wow. Okay, let's move this over here a little bit so we can put soap out. Labor of Love. That's the name of her company, Labor of Love, and I do believe that that's what she's doing is a labor of love. This one says, Can Calendula Petals. Look, there are actually little petals in there and see. The ingredients are calendula infused olive oil, coconut oil, distilled water, sodium hydroxide, saponifying agent, shea butter, castor oil, castor oil, essential oils of orange and eucalyptus, kale and clay, calendula. Directions keep dry between uses to prolong the life of the bar. If irritation occurs, stop use for external use only. I don't know if you can see that. The information to where to get her product is right there. Let's see if you can see the information. You can take a screenshot. Or, and I'm going to put her address and pertinent information in descriptions down below this video. Anyway, so, labor of love. I am not going to open this because I don't want to lose the petals right off the get-go. It's just so pretty like that. I want to leave it like there. But I am going to open one of these guys. Let's see. I get, oh, calendula petals. I don't know what the fragrance is. Let me see. I can't tell. I asked uh, Brittany to send me some very specific uh, fragrances, and so I am going to open. Let's see, this one says olive oil, coconut oil, distilled water. Alright, let's go straight down to. This one has activated charcoal, kale, and clay. It does not say it's a... This one might be fragrance-free. I'm not sure. 
I'm gonna cut into this one because these are mine and I get to use them anytime I want. Very, very excited. Thank you so much, Brittany. Thank you so much. Let's see if I can get this. Now it says fragrance free, but I think I smell a lovely scent. It's called Loving Spell. So, I think there is a fragrance. Mm, it smells fantastic to me. It smells fantastic. Wow. Love that. Um, the thing is that even though I'm doing this video somewhere along um, spring and summertime, um, I told uh, Brittany that I am much more of a um, spicy fall type of a uh, type of person, and that I like uh, um, the more exotic fragrances and foodie kind of smells. You know, like vanilla and cinnamon and that kind of thing. And, uh, but she has many wonderful springtime type of um, soaps. All kinds of wonderful fragrances. This one says Amber Romancing. Oh my goodness. Is that just... That's gorgeous. I don't see anything that indicates what the fragrance is. It just says that it's phthalate-free fragrance oil. I have never looked up phthalate H T H A L A T E. I don't know what that is. Must be something bad because this is free of it. So, luxury handcrafted soap, it says. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you what, Brittany, I am so thrilled to be able to. So many wonderful, naturally handmade soaps by you. I'm so <laughs> blessed by this. I have got to open these and show you and smell. And then I'm going to have to rewrap them somehow because... Okay, you can do this, Rebecca. Come on. Oh, phew, scary. Um, I want them to hold on to their fragrance and, as she says on the package, to, after you use it, to make sure that you, um, don't, you know, don't let the shower water keep running on your soap. This kind or any other kind, you don't want, you know, your soap is going to go by so much quicker more quickly because the water will just melt your soap away but this because it has so many oils and it's such a fine and um, soft soap it might melt away more quickly than um, other everyday soaps This, this smell reminds me of, well, it's called oak moss and amber, but it smells and it reminds me, of, well, part 
partly of a man's cologne, which of course is like, oh, okay. Oh, but it does, it reminds me of like outdoor plants and the heart of the forest kind of smell. Mm. Oh man, I'm just telling you, I cannot. I am brimming with absolute joy. I have been waiting for this package for a while because I, um, she had some things she wanted to do with her company, but I also wanted her to wait until it was closer to spring and more people might see this video. And, um, more views because I'd really love to see her sell some of her soap. My scissors kind of dug into the side. That's okay though because it sure brings out the fragrance. Oh my. Alright, let's go sideways with this one because it's giving me some difficulty. Oh now see this one says a little bit about what's in it. This one says essential oil oils of orange and rosemary I'll see how there's the other ones didn't list the actual um, fragrance oils that she used this one's called teak wood and cardamom teak wood and cardamom This is exciting. I have um, always loved those candles, you know, that have um, the beans in them and they smell like coffee. Okay, that, I know this is very dangerous. I know. I will get my hands out of the way so no one freaks out because I've noticed that everyone is afraid when I wield a knife. I did it with my hands, moved out of the way, and that was safe. I have never cut myself, ever, except one time, and it was not with scissors. It was not with a knife. I was washing out the top of, or the inside of a glass cup, sponge inside, hand inside, for some reason that, okay, I won't tell the story. I don't want you guys to get grossed out. Now open up here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. But yeah, it was a total accident. It was 
some deep in me being irresponsible. I just cut open my hand. I don't know. Maybe you can see that scar. It's really long. But I just, just the sponge and the glass broke. And, yep, blood everywhere. Okay, now this is so pretty. Is that? Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Vanilla cappuccino scrub. And on the top, it looks... Oh, wow. I could just have like a little smelly orgasm here. <laughs> just kidding. Don't get upset. Um, okay, so that's... This has... Oh, it actually has ground coffee in it. Australian Red Reef Clay is in it also. That is so fascinating. Is that not just gorgeous? Gorgeous. Coffee. Hmm. Vanilla Cappuccino Scrub. That is so, so pretty. I absolutely love that. I'll tell you what. Now, the only other thing is she says that you can keep your soap in this bag. Now, I'm not sure if that's just to keep it dry or if you are wanting to take it with you on travels or something like that. But that is just, darling, that is sweet as can be. Now, let's see. I am going on a trip this summer to visit my children. My husband and I are, I'll be off um, on summer break and I won't be working on the bus for about two months. And I am going to take that time to go ahead and go see my family. And so, on my travels, I can take one of these soaps with me. And it'll be in this bag. That is so absolutely wonderful, Brittany. You are so talented because, and I mean, must be super hard working because these are gorgeous, gorgeous soaps. Leave that purple one there. Put this one in here just for fun. It's already still has its plastic on there. I'm going to save this for later so I can kind of guess at what kind of fragrance that's going to be. But if I were to just arrange this to look all aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> How about that? How's that look? Move the scissors over here. And the soaps over here. And leave. Let's see. As you can tell, I have so much fun decorating and playing with things that have matchy, matchy colors. Matchy, matchy colors. And this one had the, you know, the black. And this one had the brown, so I was the brown would go with this brown, wouldn't it? Isn't that pretty? Oops, did I lose a coffee bean? I did. I lost a coffee bean. Well, I'm not gonna glue it. But for first appearances, it's great. <laughs> okay, so that I'm going to put up right up against the box. See, this is a little mini decorating lesson, right? So I started out with these flowers just because, right? And um, I don't know what's coming out of the box. But I see, oh yes, brown paper, still so brown paper is going to go in the middle. I didn't know that. I didn't plan it. And I wasn't sure what the colors of the soaps was going to be. But as I see that things are happening this way, I go, okay. The 
these colors match the flowers, so we put them out. The black and, or gray doesn't really match anything in the thing here, except for maybe the black of the lid here, which actually we could put that in there temporarily. Or we could put it nearby. So and then this can be on the outside because it matches the brown. Anyway, see, I'm just all silly that way, but I love decorating and I love things matching and being beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Does that look as pretty as a picture? Or not? Let's see here. How's that look, guys? Can you see it all? Now that I'm done, I won't want to disturb it. I'll be so sad. But just for the way out. And something nice to listen to. I will fold. Pretty little paper that she gave me. So delicate. Super thin tissue. I could even incorporate that into the video in the scene. Watch this. Let's see. Right, because we got the wooden box there, right? Gonna fold that in so that there is a triangle shape pointing upward. How about that? Hmm, see, kind of incorporated that into our pretty picture of the uh, things that she gave me. Oh, silly girl. Little wrappers. They're wonderful. They're beautiful. So let me just tell you on my way out here that you can find Labor of Love Soap from Brittany at says gmail.com. Email is Labor of Love Soap. Okay, now the whole title is Labor of Love Soap Making at gmail.com. And our Facebook is Labor of Love Bath and Body. And then our website is www.laboroflovesoap.com. And then it's Instagram, Labor of Love, Labor of Love Soap. And like I said, I will put her address and all the information I just read to you in descriptions below my video. So please do give Brittany a little bit of love and support to get her business off the ground. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.